Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Alyssa Goodman Show. And today I have Kelly Levesque with me. Um, I met Kelly, I think it was maybe a year and a half, two years ago, not that long ago. And um, when I met her, I said to myself, I never told you this, Kelly. Um, I said, holy shit, this girl is going places. Um, there is something really special about what Kelly does. She is, she's been in science research. She's a bit of a nerd, but if you look at her, you would never know she was. <laughs> like she investigates things, I think, to the hilt. And I love that about her. Um, she started, she was actually in oncology and testing tumors and, and very much helping people in the cancer arena for years. Um, she graduated from SC. She got her graduate degree in nutrition, was at UC Berkeley and UCLA. UCLA. Um, she came out with a book, Be Well, last year. And it's a really practical way about really getting back in your body and dealing with health and nutrition in the way that's practical, that's realistic, and also with science behind it which is what I love, because that not always happens in this arena. So Kelly, yes. welcome. Thank you for having me, Alyssa. This is so fun. I know, I know. I, I was waiting, counting on the days to have you. Um, and I, you know, I, I'm totally an Instagram stalker, which is oh. embarrassing to say, but I love everything you do. Thank you. Really, it's just like so exceptional. You make it so easy and accessible for people. And what I love, I listened to something you did with Sierra yeah. Nelson, is yeah. it? And um, I was listening just quickly to, and it was so interesting what you were talking about, about um, how everybody is like following all these different diet modalities out there. Yeah. And they're a little overwhelmed. Yeah. So yeah. I want to take a deep breath, right? right? <laughs> You're just like, I was, I really touched me because there is so much happening out there. Yeah. Um, and I would say that that's probably my mission and to bring everybody up to speed. Yes. Um, so I, yeah, I wrote a book called Body Love. It's all about light structure. Um, it's about learning how to eat healthy for, and what supports balancing blood sugar and an anti-inflammatory diet. And it's supposed to work in a way, whether you're raw vegan or keto paleo, yeah. it's bringing people up to speed and in regards to macronutrients, like what's mm -hmm. a protein, what's a fat, <laughs> it's fiber That's and greens. That's surprising people don't know that. Yeah, and so my nope. whole mission is to kind of ditch the drama around food because mm -hmm. I think people become very overwhelmed, whether it's an article that comes out and now they're petrified of a food mm -hmm. or an article comes out and now they want to rub turmeric all over their right. body. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, you know, for me, it's it's simplifying it and saying, okay, well, if your digestion breaks this down to some small molecule, what is it and how does your body respond? And right. and and light structure, I think, sets people free mm -hmm. and it allows them to say, maybe I feel like having animal protein today, maybe I don't. What would my body need? How can I get protein or how can I get fat? How can I get these phytochemicals and antioxidants and vitamins and minerals from my food? And I just try to support my clients because I work with clients right. one on one every day. I try to support my clients to just elevate their food choices. And it, you know, I think we all feel very overwhelmed. You read a book, you read a diet or a lifestyle book and you're like, oh, well, I'm now absolutely going to be keto. Right. And but how long is it going to last? Right. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm looking for longevity, foundational um, understanding and education and nutrition and really what I love is that one-on-one -on -one time with clients, understanding who they are, like when do they snack, what do they crave, when do they emotionally eat, and how right. can I just help them with biology to maybe turn off those hunger hormones so, they, so they're not fighting not to eat, right. but so they're like naturally not hungry and fueled. So how do you do that? How, yeah. You know, are there some situations, like, because that is a big one. Yeah. Like, Turning off those hunger hormones is yeah, but it's it's easy to do through food, right? It if is actually pretty yeah. easy, but people don't realize you have over eight hunger hormones in your body. I talk about actually, them. I didn't know that. You do talk about that in the book. I talk about them in my book. <laughs> wow. So there are so many hormones that either want you know are are increasing cravings. Right. Um, there are hormones that uh, can be turned off with specific foods or types of foods. So okay. I talk about the eight hunger hormones in my book and how specific food groups turn them off. So 
For example, fat. When you eat fat, you release a hormone called cholecystokinin, which is your satiety hormone. Did you say hormone. that three times? Cholecystokinin. <laughs> Don't you cholecystokinin. Know. <laughs> Yeah. So it's yeah. really a, an amazing satiety hormone. So no matter, so say for example, I have someone who does eat animal protein. Yeah. Protein's really good at turning off a couple of hunger hormones. It's It really um, turns off those hunger hormones in the brain and it lowers your cravings for carbohydrates. It regulates a hormone called neuropeptide Y. So protein is really good at that. Right. But if someone is, like I have clients who are raw vegans right. or vegetarians, right. so for them, I might up more fat because they might not be getting the same amount of protein okay. so that they feel calm and full. So you don't up the vegan protein? I don't. You don't. It's yeah. the fat that actually does it. That's well, yeah. fascinating. So, so like with nuts and seeds, yeah. I love nuts and seeds as a form of right. vegan or vegetarian protein. That's probably my favorite. Um, and you can get close to like 10 or 12 grams of protein from that. Yeah. And it's about 20 grams of protein where you where you really just feel relaxed okay. and calm. So where, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell people to eat like a full bag of nuts on right. top of their salad, but right. get a serving of, of nuts and seed protein, whether that's a tahini dressing or a pesto or a cashew cream sauce or something yummy like that over yeah. your roasted veggies. And then maybe you add a little avocado or olive oil to that. Okay. And that really ups that, you know, calms, releases the cholecystokinin and calms the hunger. So it really is about what people need and their digestion and what they feel good eating. Right. So that's kind of my That thing. is, I mean, I love that because, you know, we got to tune into ourselves, yes. right? We have to just tune in and see intuition and instincts. If we even eat something that is good for us, yeah. maybe some people don't agree with avocados. You know, it doesn't yeah. agree with them, right? And yeah, fructose intolerance is a great, or someone who needs to be on a FODMAPS diet because right. of like overgrowth of bacteria maybe isn't going to work for them. It's going to maybe make them feel bloated. Right. Like we, right. it really, and then, you know, I was just talking to someone this morning who um, is pregnant and mm -hmm. so has a complete affinity and, and food aversions to like any type of chicken or poultry. And it's, you know, you just have to listen to your body yeah. and not feel bad about it. Right. And you really, you know, look at, <laughs> and that's why I like broad categories. Like in yeah. the book, I'm like, eat your protein. Eat your fat. Right. Eat your right. fiber for All gut bacteria detoxification. You <laughs> Eat your greens right. for that like sulfur-based sugar that feeds probiotic bacteria in the gut. So leafy greens are so good at doing that. And right. you know, but it isn't like you have to eat this type of thing because it's just not gonna be right for everyone. Right. You know, not one size fits all. Yeah, yeah. there's so much bio individuality, and it really comes down to your gut bacteria, and it comes down to the like how strong is your digestion, your yeah. hydrochloric acid, your enzymes. All of those things play a part. And if you're sick, or you go through chemotherapy, or mm -hmm. you have to, you know, there are so many things that can are you super stressed right. can affect right. your digestion. So yeah, stress alone yeah. can really shut it down, right? Yeah. So do you work with clients? I assume on the gut stuff. Do you do yeah. a lot of gut work? Yeah. So do you have some special things that you <laughs> yeah. recommend? Yes. Um, so if someone doesn't have any, uh, you know, bad form of overgrowth like SIBO, yeah. I like I really like acacia fiber uh -huh. um, as a form of of fiber to, to feed gut bacteria and really pull toxins out. Hmm. Uh, I work with a number of functional medicine MDs. So I have. I know Do one of them. Dr. Super Lecos. sexy. Yeah, they call him Dr. <laughs> McDreamy. McDreamy, yes. Mm -hmm. Like it's back to Grey's Anatomy, right? <laughs> totally. Um, no, he's a doll and it takes care of my family, my husband, all, all my yeah. clients. So if I, it depends on someone's goals. Like if someone comes to me and they just have body composition goals, yeah. if I don't see, start seeing results in 10 to 12 days, I go, we'll get blood work done. Okay. Just because I'm not going to guess. Yeah. You know, for the most yeah. part, I can, I, you can um, look at someone and look at their diet. And if you start to clean it up, you should start to see them respond and how mm -hmm. quickly you clean it up. Like maybe they did one of your juice cleanses or, or soup cleanses yeah. or something with all the with all the bone broth and the veggies or whatever it is. And they start to feel those fluish type symptoms. Something's happening mm -hmm. They're You know, they're detoxifying and right. their body is going to change. Right. But if we change the diet and we don't see results. Yeah. I have to look for B vitamin deficiencies. I have to look for low vitamin D. You know, I'm I'm looking for something that might impede goals. Goal, yeah. Right? Right, exactly. Um, I have clients who aren't just body composition, though. I have clients who want to eat healthier or they have heart disease, high cholesterol. Um, I have a client with gout. I have celiac clients, 
it's a whole clients. gamut. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It really just depends. So yeah. what's right for them. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk more about that when we come back, everybody. So she's a wealth of knowledge and information. Um, and I even look to her for my knowledge and information. So. I can't tell you how excited I am about the Alyssa Goodman Show. I've partnered with the, the, ah, ready? Not ready. I focus with, I focus, I have focus with Focus TV. My brain is like going whoop, whoop. I'm sorry. That's like, why is this so hard? Hey, all you need is a private chef and some Botox and a stylist and you're good to go. We're back with Kelly Levesque, and it's been so fun talking to you about nutrition and just like having different diets and different modalities for different people. Yeah. Um, I know you have a tremendous amount of exciting things coming up because yes. um, I watch them as well. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them is now foods. Yes. Right? Or, vi or vitamins. Is it now foods? So, yeah, now foods um, has vitamin lines. They have um, like sprouted brown rice and quinoa and um, a bunch like of dry goods and pantry goods like nuts and seeds, right. Brazil nuts. I um, buy their empty veggie capsules. Yeah. Like I fill up stuff and herbs with them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they have um, essential oils. But now mm. foods is from Chicago. That's right. They've been yeah. around for 50 years. Right. I, when looking with part, to partner with brands, it's really important to me coming from a medical background and a lab background that there's quality control. Right. Um, I could easily go out and white label a protein powder, which I thought about doing a, yeah. a lot, um, but it's, it's a really hard thing to do when you talk about actually looking at quality. Mm -hmm. And Now Foods has over $40 million worth of quality testing equipment. So they're testing for heavy metals like mercury, lead, arsenic. They're testing for bacteria like E. coli and staph. So these are things that are present in totally live foods, right. nuts and seeds, and yeah. protein powders, I and, know. and supplements, too, supplements, so. yeah. vitamins and minerals. Like there are things that are just naturally higher in heavy metals because whatever that soil, wherever it's growing, if it's mm -hmm. coming from the soil, it ends up in the plant. The plant is ground up, and then we're ingesting that. Right. So for me, quality is really, really important. And you know, they're they're a family brand, and it's right. not you know a sexy thing that you're seeing all over Instagram. Right, true. But I really, really love their the, the family that started it. I really love the people that work there. I was told so many times that they're so happy to work work yeah. there. And the, the head of quality there actually used to set, he um, used to do inspections for the FDA. So he knows oh. the best equipment. Right. I mean, he spent a lot of their money on this quality equipment. Right. But I'm really, really proud to partner with them next year. It's Congratulations. 50 years, so oh, I'm excited. That is so yeah. great. So if you go to Expo West, I'll be there in their booth signing okay. books. <laughs> so yeah, come visit. That's fantastic. Yeah. And that then seems, that just seems like the right partnership it for is. you. And you, you know it. You know when it's right. Yeah. So. It feels really, I mean, nerding out. It's all about, mm -hmm. it's all about quality. It's all about testing. It's mm -hmm. all about making sure that we're not accidentally ingesting something that's going to be harmful. Because isn't it a little scary these days with what's out there? Like yeah. superfoods and supplements and that well, aren't really yeah. high quality. Yeah. I mean, you can, so you see all these independent, like the NSF or independent, um, you know, labeling and certification, right. but it's not really regulated in the same way by the FDA. It's yeah. just, you can slap anything on a bottle and put it out and just write, this is not 
you know, not certified by the FDA and you're, you can claim whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And when you look at um, scary where That's... people get quality, their ingredients, like yeah. it's coming from China, it's coming from India, it's coming from Canada and they're mixing everything together and throwing it in a capsule and you're buying it because you think it's going to be great for skin health. Right. <laughs> you right. know, so. No, it scares me to death. Yeah. It really, because so. I think it, of course, can do more harm than good. Yeah, it, it can. Mm -hmm. And and just, you know, I'm a really about simplicity. I think mm -hmm. you should be able to get the nutrients that you want from your food. Right. And if you can't and you need to supplement with something, we just want it to be high quality. So right. really excited about that yeah. partnership. And then Mind Body Green. So have another partnership <laughs> with Mind Body Green. So I'm the host of their nutrition training program right. that came out in November. Um, so I'm, uh, you know, I watched those videos. They were made. They're so good. They look like they were so hard to do. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because it's hours and hours and hours of filming. Yes. Um, and scripting. Yeah. So it was pages and pages of script and what they wanted included and things were redlined and things were added and um, but it was uh, so well done though yeah I'm mm -hmm. really excited and they have some phenomenal functional medicine doctors like Dr. Mark Hyman, yeah. Dr. Taz, um, you know Dr. Lippman mm -hmm. so many well-known functional MDs who are really paving the way in this space and you get classes with them as well so it's speaking, 250 hours. Speaking of the functional MDs just a like side note do you just recommend all your clients go to functional. Yeah. That is where it's at, like the yeah. MDs. Yeah. They, do, they do an extra year of fellowship in, yeah. in the functional space, and what they're looking for there is not saying, oh, you have acid reflux? Here's Nexium or mm -hmm. a proton pump inhibitor. They go, why do you think we have, let's find out why you have acid reflux. Yeah. Do you have a gluten allergy? Maybe you have low acid. A lot of people are surprised to hear that like acid reflux is actually from low acid. <laughs> You need a certain Another acid one. level yeah. in the stomach for that sphincter between your stomach and your esophagus to close. Mm -hmm. And if you're just stressed out and not producing acid and things are just in there and coming up, or do you have a hernia? You right. know, that's never going to be fixed with proton pump inhibitor. No. And if no. people are on these things for years, osteoporosis, they're not absorbing their food because the acid isn't breaking it down to release the nutrients. I mean, they're... That's a huge deal. It's a huge thing. And so it's Band-Aids with... With when, I mean, I can't even imagine learning as much as you learn in um, 14 years of school as right. an MD, but you're taught, it's just the way that our, the, the education program is, is what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. What pharmaceuticals do we have to take care of it? Can we cut it out? Can we radiate it? Can right. we obliterate it with these drugs? And I think it really is about, well, what's really wrong? Why is this happening yeah. to you? You're yeah. probably eating something that isn't right for you mm -hmm. or, and can we get to the bottom of that? And that's what functional medicine MDs right. do is they're testing for food allergies. They're looking at your gut bacteria through stool analysis. They're looking at cortisol testing, micronutrient deficiencies. And that's why I say when I refer out a client, we're looking for, do you have a B6 deficiency? Because yeah. if you're trying to lose weight and you don't have B6, right. it's not, not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. That is true. I mean, yeah. and also what I love about them is they spend time with you, just like you yes. spend time with your clients and I spend time with mine. I mean, they ask all the right questions. You know, yes. they ask about your past or even like what your birth was like or did your mom breastfeed you or yes. it's like stuff that what did you have a trauma yeah. in your past life, right? Or yeah. all those important things that come into play with like yeah. how the body functions. I mean, a lot of people don't know this because I don't blurt it out everywhere, but right. I'm celiac and I spent I did not know that. I spent all of high school and more than half of college on um, antibiotics for sinus infections. Okay and strep throat. Wow. And when I found out I was celiac and yeah. I cut out gluten, like all I of that went away. I sick once every two years. Wow. But I was the person who was on antibiotics yeah. every three or four months. So did you have to go to a lot of doctors to find out that you were celiac? Yeah, and you know, like I actually that? had to demand a celiac test and endoscopy to confirm it yeah. because the doctors were like, you're fine. Your thyroid's fine. You go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have digestive GI issues. And I'm like, look, I'm tired and yeah. I'm sick every three months. And There's you a knew problem. something wasn't fine. Yeah. And that's where you have to be the biggest advocate for your own health. Right. It's right. Don't take no for it. Just don't and listen keep to the looking. doctor. Yeah. All the time. Sometimes the doctor, just like if you were to go to a therapist, sometimes it's just not right. Mm -hmm. And you have mm -hmm. to know, are they listening to you or are they just trying to get into the next room to see the next patient? Right. You right. know, it's like they have to be present. And that's right. Functional medicine MDs. I mean, they're present. I know. They're present. Same here. Same here. I love that. They're that two present. hours with them. And yeah. 
I know. So, and then you were talking a little bit. Do you, can you talk about a book? New yeah. Book coming out? So, um, uh, so I. Because this I, one is done so well. Thank you. I'm really so. excited about it. The first book was published by Harper Collins. My editor was really excited about a second book. There yeah. were things that, you know, you want to put everything in mm -hmm. your first book and you want to keep working on it and you want to keep changing it. And the thing is, is it was what it was when I, when I put it out there yeah. and I, it's, I'm really humbled by the positive response. Yeah. Um, but there were things that people need, like um, if someone's a vegan or vegetarian, how do they eat the Fab Four? Mm -hmm. If someone is um, always on the go and on an airplane, how do they eat the Fab Four on the okay. go, girl? Okay. What if they're a domestic goddess? What okay. if they want... So different personality yeah. types. So it's archetypes Perfect. based on how would you execute this okay. if this is your life. Wow. So I love that. More recipes, over 100 tips on things like replace before you remove. If someone's yeah. like, I'm never gonna drink coffee again, and they wanna quit yeah. right there, it's like, right. can we switch to green tea? Right. And then can we pull back? Mm -hmm. You know, just little yeah. tips like that, so. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thanks, I'm really excited too. Kelly, yeah. I, you know how I've been doing the soup cleanse for the yes. last three years. Um, cook and deliver to like 90 people a month, which has been so fun. Not and a lot of work at no, all. No, not uh -huh. at all, uh -huh. not, but absolutely love it because I get to take care of people with food, like we were talking about, you yeah. know, just that they get to see what it feels like to eat really, really healthy. Yeah. So I, in the interim weeks that we don't do the soup cleanse, we are doing Alyssa's Essentials oh. because people have been asking, there are a few things on the soup cleanse that they love. One of them is the detox tonic. And in this detox tonic is aloe vera, it's coconut kefir, it's the fresh lemon juice, ginger, of course, you have, a little, have to have a little apple cider vinegar. Yeah. You don't have to have it every day though, but um, divine. I know it, it's, and cayenne, and then it has a liquid probiotic oh. in there. So people love this. Also, it's uh, filled up with love water. There, it's alkaline water that's been blessed by a shaman. So, I know, so I think it's love water that makes it so special. Then we make homemade bone broth. So we do chicken bone broth. So that's been really fun because I mean, anything homemade, yeah feels and you know tastes and is so nurturing better. I can just tell how yeah, thick it is. It is, it is thick. <laughs> there is some uh, and then amino acids I in know. that one guys. There there is a homemade protein bar. So oh. it's seeds, it's all gluten free, it's very low in sugar. There's like five grams of sugar in there. It's a pretty good size bar for five grams. You yeah. know how hard it is these days to find. Yeah. So people love the bar as well. So oh. I'm excited because um, that's also we just put it out this last week and People are buying it for the holidays just as something that they can get through the holidays unscathed a little bit and healthier. It's so great actually because one, it's really hard to find healthy snacks, so the bar is great. Right. But two, I have so many clients who I want to eat more meals and less snacks, but they we have this like need to drink or eat something, and right. I always love like a tonic or a bone broth as a bridge snack between meals. Yeah, it doesn't beautiful. take much to digest and it no. keeps you glowing from the inside out. So I'm, You've got I'm it. definitely <laughs> going to use my essentials kit. Well, you are taking the world by storm mm -hmm. in a very positive, very lovely way. So, and I just, your personality is so warm and nurturing and loving. So I could see how clients absolutely love working with you. Thank you. So I asked my clients like if they had to sum up their mission in one word. Do you have a word? Um, empowerment. That's great. I love that. It is so important. And also to, like, to hand that empowerment back to the client, right? That's so, what I want. Yeah. I want them to feel empowered. Empowered to make their health choices. Yeah. Empowered to know what they want to eat. Empowered by knowledge and all of it. So. Not necessarily rely on you all the time. No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> learn. I don't know. Yeah. yeah like, like, I want you to give teach you to fish. Yeah. You go fish. Mm -hmm. This is you. This is your experience. This is your life. This is your, you know, your your trip around, around the sun. So. Right. Oh, my God. So happy to have yeah, you. Yeah. Thank thanks you. Thanks for having me, Alyssa. <laughs>